All right, one of my viewers asked me if there was a SoundCloud client for the terminal. And this one is the first one I checked out. It's called Cloud Ruby. Uh, and it can do that for SoundCloud.com. If you don't know what SoundCloud is, uh, which I didn't really know, use it, but uh, SoundCloud is a social network to, you know, a social network for people that wants to share uh, their music. Either music that they create themselves or they remix uh, existing artists. Um, so that's what it is here. Anywho, how do you use this? So, Cloud Ruby, when you push, uh, you know, just type in Cloud Ruby and push enter. Uh, this one by default will give you the top 100 list. Not top 100 list, I mean the top uh, 100 newest uh, mixes or songs that people have shared or uploaded or whatever. And really not that hard to use this program everything's muted now because i don't want the youtube copyright but uh you can see that it, it does play all you gotta do is just hover over the uh songs and it'll automatically play it so you have to wait for a little seconds and it'll actually play it um that's really all it is to it now if you want to search for a specific uh, artist or songs or something like that you just do the same thing cloud ruby and then you type in uh you know the string that you want let's say for example we do Dre here for Dr. Dre and you'll see that I'll play uh, uh, some of the mixes that they have for the word Dre like for example down here or something like that right or you can let's say search for something else like Dido or something um, and you get her songs in here and, and different remixes by different people that's pretty much it now as far as the high keys um, they do have what was that Q for quit, uh, plus and minus for volume stuff. The next track and previous track, just use the down and up arrow. That's uh, sufficient enough. And uh, meet is M and spacebar is playback. But um, the thing with this program is that it hasn't been updated in two years, right? So there's still bugs with it. And there's still stuff that I hate about it. Um, that I'll mention here. So if you're a good uh, Ruby person and you want to pick up the project and, and fix it, one thing is that using the up and down arrow, I mean, that's that's a lot of work. If there was like a number on the side here, like you have in Vim where you have a number in the side and then you just type in the number and it'll play that song. I wish they had that. Um, I wish they had a download option, um, but they don't have a download option here. I'll show you how to download it too if you want to do that. So it's not really that hard. Just use another program to download. But um, wish they had a download option in here. And yeah, I mean, maybe a playlist or something like that you can do. But everything else in here, I do like, you know. Anywho, that's how you use the program. Uh, oh, yeah, one more option I didn't talk about is that you can actually uh, stream it directly using a URL. So, for example, I have um, this one over here. Right, so let's copy this URL here. And if you want to do that directly, you just type in Cloud Ruby and then you space in the link, and I'll actually play the uh, Super Double Dragon song here in a minute. And there you go, it'll play the song. You can see up top here, it's playing, and they give you the names and who is it by the user and stuff like that. Uh, just hit Q to quit out of this. So that's pretty much uh, all you gotta do. Now, if you want to download it, uh, you can use another program called YouTube DL, which I haven't made a, a video on. I keep saying I'll make one, but I never do. I, I might make one, okay, uh, in the future. But anyways, we'll use YouTube DL and, and download it from here. Um, you know, when you search on SoundCloud.com, sometimes they have the download option for you, like this button here. Sometimes there is no download option. There's no button here, right? Uh, it doesn't really matter because if you use YouTube DL, it's going to rip it from here anyways. So for example, this one doesn't have any uh, download option. Uh, so we copy the link and you go in here and you type in YouTube DL and then you just paste in the link and it'll actually download the songs uh, for you here. So you can see that we have this uh, MP3 here, right? And then you can use like a M player or any uh, music player you want to use. Uh, but if you want to do it from the command line just to see if it works and I will play it again My my uh, my sounds muted because I don't want the YouTube copyright bullshit. All right, but that's how you download it and uh, That's how you use uh, cloud Ruby if you want to have a text user interface 
again the program is two years old so if you're a good Ruby person you want to fix it up that'd be great and there is some bugs with it that's to be expected because it is old anywho if you want to use it I'll link you in the description that'd be it for this one